how to create mockups in Canva step by step. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create mockups using Canva. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create our design. So let's say we are looking to create a t-shirt design. So you don't actually have to, you know, first off search for t-shirt or, you know, do this or do that. You don't actually need to search that or anything like that. But what you can do is you can, if you do search for a t-shirt, it will open up a canvas for you, which is around 14 inches we're just gonna open it up over here and this is you know a basic little canvas but you can design whatever item you want in whatever kind of inches or measurements you want but this is like the standard size that they provide but once you have done that they also give you some templates that you can pick out from but we're gonna start creating our design and you might be wondering i am looking to create a mock-up i just don't want a simple you know basic uh, idea of what my item is going to look like well don't worry we are going to convert this into a mock-up the first thing we we're gonna do is we're gonna first off design our little item so i want this to be like a pink or i want this to be like a black block and i want some text on it so i'm gonna go to the text section and within the text section i am just going to click on this kind of text this is like a text combination or font combination provided by canva so i'm just going to take the font combination and i'm going to add some text so i'm going to add james world and once i have added the text what i'm going to do is i'm going to resize it like so and i'm just going to select the text and i'm going to place it right onto the center of my block and once I have done that, I want to add some framing, I want to add some design elements, so I'm going to go into the element section, and I'm just going to search for maybe a, uh, let's say I'm going to search for a pattern, I'm just going to search for a pattern, and once I have searched for patterns, I'm going to go into the graphic section, and you can see there are different patterns I can choose from, so I really like this one, this looks pretty interesting these like dotted kind of lines. I'm just gonna replace this in the center and I'm gonna add these. Or you can, you know, expand this and add it as like a background as well. But I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna look for something else that's a bit more striped. Or I can take, you know, this kind of graphic little blocking or, you know, this as well. I think this is the one. I really like these, you know, arrow designs. So I'm just going to add these onto the side over here and I'm just going to do control C and control V and I'm going to place these above like so and I'm going to move the text towards the front control C and control V and I'm going to place it at the side as well and once I have done that I'm just going to do control C and control V copy the entire thing and I'm going to place it on the opposite side as well. And once I place it on the opposite side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the text first and I'm going to select all three of these. I'm going to do control C and control V. I'm going to do control C and control V. Move these over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to flip these. So if you want, you can flip these if you want, you know, the arrow directions to be parallel to each other. But if that's fine with you, if you don't really care about the direction of the arrows, you can just leave it as it is and place it over here, or you can make it parallel. But for me, I think it's going to look fine. So I'm just going to replace the text into the center over here. I'm going to make sure that it is centered. And we are just going to make sure about the text like so. And I think the design is pretty good now. I think this is what I like. So how do you actually create a mock-up? So this is my design. And once you have created your design, you're going to click on these three dots on the top right over here. And once you do that, you're going to search for mock-ups. So you can just search for mock-up. And this is going to lead you to Smart Mockups. So on Smart Mockups, you're actually first going to have to log into your account or you can create your account using your Google address. And what you're going to do is you're just going to click on Save over here. And this will save your design onto Smart Mockups and you can start seeing all of your mockups. So once you have done that, you're just going to click on View and Smart Mockups. Once you do that, you can see that they have all of these mockup ideas. And let's say I want to see what this looks like on a t-shirt. So I'm just going to click on t-shirt over here and once I do that, I'm going to take any one of these designs so you can see I'm getting my mock-up preview already and I can open up any of these to see what it's going to look like in detail and if I want to, you know, view my design, how it's going to look on sweatshirts, so I can just click on sweatshirts over here 
and this will give me the preview of how my design is going to look like on sweatshirts as well. Now, you can not only add this onto apparel, but you can add this on packaging, print, so you can create magazines, brochures, posters, iPhone cases, you can add it on to different um, technology devices as well, or you can even create it on mugs, pillows, candles, and all that other stuff as well. So this is how easy it is for you to create mock-ups on Canva. All you need is your basic Canva application and you need to log on to smart mockups as well and as you design you can start viewing your different designs on the smart mockups platform so this was just one basic design if you want to create more designs you want to create them accordingly as well so the larger design you create if i go back onto my home page and maybe i want to create something that is for mugs so for that i don't really need to create something that is really big because you know mugs are tiny so the design i'm going to create won't be as large as as, you know a design that I would create for a rug or a t-shirt or a sweatshirt so for that you can you know create smaller designs so you can just click on custom size over here convert it into inches and then we can just go instead of going you know really large let's say we can go for a six by six inch canvas and then we're just going to open up our six by six inch canvas and we're going to create like a tiny design so maybe i just want to create like a simple cat design so i'm going to go into the element section i'm going to search for cat and I just want like a simple cat face. So I'm just gonna go into the graphic section over here. Once I go into the graphic section, I am going to just take this cat design and I'm going to expand it like so. And I'm gonna place it right on the center of my canvas. I'm gonna click on my three dots, click on smart mockups, click on save over here. And once my design has been saved, I'm just gonna click on view and smart mockups and we're going to go on to home and living, we're going to go on to mugs, and then my preview for my cat design is here. So you can see this is what the preview for my design is looking like. And even if I want to view this on apparel or on t-shirts, I can, but the resolution of the image on the final print will actually not be great. So that is why you need to be aware of what kind of item you're designing in your mock-up. Uh, the larger item it is, the larger your um, design size should be. Because you don't want to lose any pixels you don't want to lose any resolution you don't want your print to seem you know of bad quality just because your design size was too small so this is how you create simple and easy mock-ups in canva i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to create smart mock-ups using canva and there was previously a integration between smart mock-ups and canva where you could directly view the mock-ups within canva but that is no longer available on Canva. I have seen that feature myself. It was a lot helpful, but I don't know why they have removed that integration. And instead, you just have to save your designs and then preview them on the Smart Mockups platform. It's still pretty simple and easy. And I hope you guys got the grasp and you're able to follow along and create your own mockups. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.